Day one, the beginning. Let there be, before land and before sea, let there be, before you and before me, let there be, before us and before we, let there be, light. In chaos like a fight, bursting through the dark is a spark and creation is born, order out of chaos no longer forlorn, the story of our God, evening and morning, evening and morning. Day two. Oh, how time flies. The last day the world goes without skies is the first, second day of the week. The world is ordering itself from chaos to tidy and neat. Separation of two waters, a place vast and uncharted. Creation so ridiculous, but he's just getting started. Evening and morning. Evening and morning. Day three. Land and sea in segregation, in the land is vegetation, a habitation for what's green. These plants make up the garden where soon the enemy is met. He'll fracture this perfect creation. But let's not go there yet. Evening and morning. Evening and morning. Day four, lights in the sky to mark out time. Who's to say how long it was before God drew this line? A greater and a lesser to govern day and govern night. Evening stars appear to make a child's eyes shine bright. This creation set in motion just like he thought it would. The creator must be happy for as he says, it is good evening and morning, evening and morning. Day five, the sea filled with fish and the birds told to fly. Be fruitful and increase. Fill the earth and multiply. Evening and morning. Evening and morning. Day six, livestock and creatures that move along the ground. Someone asked what they were called, but no one made a sound. It's time for the Creator to put a final touch on his toil. He looks not too far, just reaches down to the soil. With dirt and muck clotted up in his hands, he breathes another breath, and out pops a man. God says, now take the earth, it's yours for the claiming, every plant and every animal, now get down to naming. The seeds of creation all have been sown, until Adam looks up and says, hey, I don't want to be alone. I need someone with me, a partner to share the crib. He needs search no further, just look down at his rib. Eve bursts forth from the flesh in Adam's side as a partner and a helper. She's not just along for the ride. Creation is now complete with a man and his dame walking naked through the garden, free of guilt and free of shame. In the image and likeness of the creator we are made, but in just another chapter, that image starts to fade. On the seventh day, he rests, just before we start sinning. The creative work is done, but redemption's just beginning.